Good morning, lovelies. How's everybody doing today? Today is Thursday, and that means it is my weekly check-in with you guys. Uh, I have not been on my YouTube channel in the last week because I've been so busy. My son, who also is Elijah, who also known as Drag Shadow, has had an amazing week because of... Um, him being a WWE superstar and we were at Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Night Smackdown so I have not read anybody's comments lately so I'm just letting you guys know that um, I will be able to check it sometime this week and catch up on everybody's video sometime this next week and um, I just want to let you guys know that first so but thank you in advance for all your comments and support and all that um, we are driving down to the hospital right now so I'm gonna do a car uh, update today. It seems that's pretty uh, known to happen with the weight loss surgery community group. I think that's kind of funny how we all <laughs> do the whole car vlog. But anyway, time out. Switching lanes. Okay, so I weighed myself this morning and I'm still at a stall. I got down to 146 and I was a pound away from 145, which is my first goal. And because of the weekend I had, I was a, a very, very, I wasn't very, very. I was decent for mo the most part on what I ate and what I put in my body. But there are things, sorry my camera's shaking, but there are things that I did put in my body that usually is not typically acceptable with me. Not, I'm, you know, what I want to put in my body. So I had some desserts, I had a couple of bites of an English muffin, I don't eat bread ever, and you know, I was a little bit on the bad side, but you know, however, I did my eat my shrimp, I had my protein drinks, I had my protein bars, um, but other than that, I uh, kind of swerved off a little bit, and I knew I was going to do that, I do that when we go to like big huge events or big huge trips, that happens, I'm not too guilty about it but it is disappointing because when you go step on that scale the numbers do mean something to me people are like oh don't worry about the numbers yes the numbers mean something that mean the numbers to me also means I am getting healthy at the same time so they are important to me just not as important as like fitting into clothes and whatnot so um I'm completely different in my opinion to everybody else about numbers you know like I said, people are like, oh, don't worry about the numbers. It's not all about the scale. Well, it is in conjunction, in reality, for all of us, I believe, in conjunction of our clothes fitting less and us losing weight and feeling healthier. I think the numbers on the scale have a lot to do in conjunction with everything else. So the numbers on the scale to me are important. So I, that keeps me accountable for my actions. Um, to uh, make sure I am eating right. For some reason, for me, the numbers on the scale keep me accountable and it helps me think, oh my gosh, I gained three pounds because I was up to, what, 148 something? I gained three pounds and I'm like, look what I've eaten. I, I evaluate myself after seeing the numbers go up and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm not doing. I didn't drink enough water. You know, I drink other stuff um, like um, um, juices and Propel, which is okay, but it's not water, you know? So I know now why I gained three pounds. So all I have to do is fix it. So that makes me accountable um, watching the numbers on the scale. So to me, I'm completely opposite. I am that one fish that swims up the stream against the crowd. I don't follow the, what the crowd believes or says. I do my own thing and my own thing is numbers are important to me. The scale is important to me. Um, like I said, it's in conjunction with all the other things that happen when you're trying to get healthier. So yeah, the scale is important. Anyhow, so I was back up to like 148, so I gained a couple of pounds. And I'm not going to worry about it because I know I can get back down. So I'm going to work really hard this week to get myself back on track. I'm going to drink a lot more water, um, get back on my strict protein diet, nothing but protein no carbs um i don't eat rice and i don't eat pastas uh let's see what else other than that i'm still in a size eight comfortably i'm actually 
really comfortable where I'm at right now. I get a lot of compliments. I got an amazing compliment from Stephanie McMahon. I came when we went and saw her backstage. She's like, girl, are you trying to be a D or are you trying to audition to be a diva or something? And I was like, yeah, because <laughs> I want to be healthy like a, a WWE diva. So um, that that meant a lot to me that, you know, a WWE representative um, noticed and said something. So that was one of the biggest compliments ever. So I feel really good now. I want to get rid of my pooch because the dress I was wearing at the WWE event, I noticed I had that pooch, but who doesn't have a pooch after losing all the weight so fast? I mean, we're all going to have that at one point or another. So, um, things have been doing, uh, things have been going okay. As far as my weight loss surgery goes, I have not had any complications. Oh, break, 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 break traffic. Um, that's why the phone is, I'm not holding the phone because I'm paying attention to the road at the same time I'm talking to you. But, um, I haven't had any complications. I haven't had any dumping syndrome. Um, I had some sips of some soda because I was like really, really thirsty and we were nowhere to get anything to drink. And I'm surprised I did not have any problems with soda. And that scares me because I don't want to think in my brain that, oh, it's okay for me to drink soda now that I can go and start drinking soda. No, 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 no. I want to stay away from soda. I want to stay from the processed sugars. I want to stay from away from that. So that is my choice. I can choose to drink soda because my body can accept soda now, but I choose not to drink soda. And that's a personal choice. And I think because I've been away from it so long that when I drink it, I, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, before I would not be able to have this self-control, but now I have self-control and it's amazing to me that, oh my gosh, this is easier than I thought before I would have never had self-control and drank in so much soda. It's not even funny. So I choose to stay away from soda and that's me. And you know, some people after weight loss surgery choose to go back and drink some soda. That's their choice. I'm not judging them, but for me, I'm going to stay away from soda. Um, I may have a sip here and there just because I miss like the taste of Dr. Pepper or something, but I'm not drinking consumo. I'm not going to consume so much, which is fine. Uh, but other than that, I have not had any like bowel problems. I take a Dolcalox twice a week, um, to help keep things flowing. And that has been working excellent for me. Some people like to do homeopathic remedies or, uh, Miralax and stuff. I just don't like the texture to Miralax. I don't like any of that stuff. And it is hot in here all of a sudden. Oof. I gotta turn up that AC for a second. Okay, so, um, yeah, so things are good, guys. Things are good. Seven months, seven and a half months post op. I am so happy to be here. I'm so happy to have that self discipline. I'm so happy to have that control. Um, and let me remind you guys, for all those who are newbies to the weight loss surgery community, it's okay. It is completely okay to have a piece of chocolate. It's okay to have a little candy bar. It's okay to cheat once in a great while. Health nuts do. People that haven't had weight loss surgery, you should see the stuff that these WWE all about working out and being healthy, what they're eating. Come on. People are going to eat junk food sometimes. And you know what? Don't get so down and so hard on yourself. It's completely okay. Totally okay. Just don't stay in that rut. If you have something, you feel like it's a mistake, just don't stay there. Pick yourself back up. Get off the floor. If you feel like you fail, don't stay down. Get back up. Work hard. Get back to the place you were and keep on going. And it's completely okay. And I want to encourage those who feel like it's the end of the world or, oh my gosh, I've made a mistake and, oh my gosh, I've eaten this thing and I'm so guilty. Don't. Just don't. I encourage you to get yourself back up and work hard and get yourself to where you want to be. Just, it's okay. It's okay to do that. 
and it's okay like I said to have a candy bar it's okay you're not consuming so much of it that it's gonna cause you now here's what I recommend on top of that though let's just say you're an alcoholic and you're a recovering alcoholic it's not okay to have that drink if you feel like you are going to go back to being an alcoholic again uh, I have seen people who have, are recovered alcoholics have a drink every now and then and they're fine because they're not addicted to alcohol anymore. Everybody's different. Know your body. Know who you are. Know what you can and cannot do. So if you cannot and you feel like you're going to fall back into that, don't do it. But if you do make a mistake, pick yourself back up and move on. Don't wallow in this misery of guilt. You do not need to have that guilt on your shoulders because once you start having guilt, you're going to self-please yourself. Sorry, why is it so dark all of a sudden? Sorry. You're going to self-please yourself by having more of what you don't want. Positivity is key. Keep yourself positive in times like a mistake and say, you know what? It happens. I'm going to pick myself back up and move on. And um, that's, that's how the key to success, to overcoming your addictions, is yes, we make mistakes. I'm not going to make that mistake again or not going to feel guilty about it and I'm going to move on. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that my story is inspiring to you. I am a promoter of weight loss surgery if you cannot do it on your own and I will promote weight loss surgery. It is not the easy way out. I have had so much hate over this and I just ignore the haters, block them and move on because they are not worth my time. They do not understand and they're very ignorant. So I just ignore them and block them and move on. And if that happens to you, do the exact same thing. They're not worth your time. Your time is more precious than the haters time. So um, yeah, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below on how you feel about when you make a mistake and eat and how guilty you feel and that what you what do you think you're going to do to make yourself push make go that extra mile let me know what you want to do for that extra mile and be an encouragement to other people don't be a discouragement to other people be an inspiration to other people if, if you're going to do the YouTube thing as well. Let other people know that it, it's okay for weight loss surgery and it's it's not a easy way out. It's another way to get healthy. So I love you guys so, so much. We will see you all next Thursday. I am so happy to be coming close to my goal. I will get there and I hope to report back to you with some good news. And we'll see you guys all next week. Love you. Ciao. Bye.